Give a man a fish, and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. An ancient proverb of uncertain origin, it makes an important point about the need for teaching people how to be independent and self-reliant. There are any number of sayings and proverbs that support and supplement that concept. Philosophers and wise folk from Solomon in Proverbs 12:27 to Aeschylus to Emerson have spoken of this idea in very strong terms, and history has shown them to be correct. There is something good in our nature that grows when we learn to stand on our own two feet and provide for ourselves. However, self-reliance and independence are self-destructive in our relationship with God. An equally ancient proverb is found in our text for today. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Deuteronomy 8, verse 3. There are several lessons in this text that we'll explore in the next few days. But today, let's look at the danger of losing sight of eternity. Whether talking about fish or bread, caviar or cake, we're talking about a basic need of life, food. Notice that the text says alone, indicating that bread is an important thing, but not the only thing for life. We live in a world that has thrown off the pursuit of eternal things, thinking itself satisfied with temporal things. It isn't new to 21st century America, as escapism theology seems to think. It dates back to the garden, when Adam and Eve thought eating the forbidden fruit was more important than honoring God. This world has rejected the Creator and worships the creation. Paul described it this way. They claim to be wise, but they are fools. They don't worship the glorious and eternal God. Instead, they worship idols that are made to look like humans who cannot live forever, and like birds, animals, and reptiles. So God let these people go their own way. They did what they wanted to do, and their filthy thoughts made them do shameful things with their bodies. They gave up the truth about God for a lie, and they worshipped God's creation instead of God. Romans 1, verses 22 through 25. The world has convinced itself that life is better without God. But their foolish hearts refuse to admit that if there is nothing beyond this world, then this world is nothing either. More and more people accept the irrational while denying that it is irrational. So irrationality prevails, which is why our world is constantly spinning out of control in a whirlwind of self-destruction. By running away from God, we're running away from the bread of life, the only thing that can truly satisfy our souls. Well, if you're hungry, come back tomorrow for more Bread of Life with Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until then, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.